Hello Pisces, welcome to Lotus Heart Tarot. We are traveling, so we have a kind of crazy setup here today, but we are gonna dive right in and get a look at the energies. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'm very, very happy to have you. These are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to just dive right in and look at the energies. For Pisces, please, Spirit, for Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? All right, Pisces, you guys are getting pacify, reassure, persuade, clarify, identify, romantic night, romantic entanglement, sexual encounter, oath of the moon, vows of love. And on the bottom, we have nurse, kindness, loving, realistic. All right, I feel that either someone in your person's life is... Either this person is internally trying to reassure themselves that this is the right move or that they're making or that they're doing the right thing um, or that even, you know, I really want to clarify it. I think I'm just going to clarify it. There's this, this energy of either it's like this person is making some kind of decision and they don't know if they're making the right decision and they actually have someone in their life who is kind of helping them or kind of reassuring them um, or they are doing this for themselves. What is pacify for Pisces? What is pacify for Pisces? What is pacify for Pisces? They may have some kind of father figure Let's see okay. 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 Pisces, I feel this energy with, um, you know, before we make a major decision in life or before we, there, there's something here that where there could have been a third party situation or this person may have already made a decision and they may be looking out to the future and second guessing themselves, wondering if they did the right thing. Because it's like there's an energy here where there has been a very, very difficult ending that this person may be healing from. This person may be hearing things or seeing things on social media that they don't necessarily like or that they that or they may be thinking When you're dealing with someone who makes things super difficult for you, who may seek revenge, who, who's, who, when you try to end something with them, their instinct is to make it as difficult or as horrible an experience as possible, not to just let it go, not to just accept that this isn't for them or that the timing isn't right or whatever. And it feels like this person has made their decision and they may have had the help of a father figure type person or they may have just realized within themselves <clears throat> that they had to, <clears throat> that they were strong enough to endure whatever this ending is. Because it feels like someone in their life is making something much more difficult than it needs to be. Um, possibly through words, possibly through doing every possible thing to make this impossible for this person to recover, for this person to heal, for this person to think or see things clearly. Um, there's just this energy of... You know hoping that you made the right decision, thinking that you've made the right decision, um, not being super sure. The Page of Swords is giving me this real insecure feeling of like, did I do the right thing? And it's like, they're seeing it clearly. They're understanding what's happening here, but it's like, 
you know, as human beings, we are always seeking to avoid suffering. And this right here is suffering. And so there is some part of us that when we bring suffering into our life wonders, did I make the right decision? Oftentimes, it's just that the cycle has to complete and there's still energy left that needs to just complete um, in order for the whole thing to be done and to be able to let go. And until this person feels like really super confident that they've done the right thing. I feel like this person can't necessarily come forward towards you or towards this relationship. It's like they know that they can't have success in this relationship until this completely plays out, until they have healed, until there's complete clarity, until they don't feel like this anymore. And then I feel like, you know, they want to come forward and make an offer because they definitely, wow you know, see you as a very loving, abundant, nurturing person here, Pisces. What is this a romantic night for Pisces, please, Spirit? This person, it's like they are, they're going through a period of healing, you know, um, and this healing is intense because it's not only that this person was, you know, in a cycle that was misaligned with them, this person misaligned themselves in order to try to make something work. This person um, deceived themselves or was dishonest with themselves, or it's like with the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords, the energy is this. It's kind of an I knew better, um, but it's like I couldn't help myself. I just had to really try. And it may have been because the entire thing was motivated by avoiding some kind of difficult ending or avoiding some kind of suffering. And so this person like internalized their suffering instead of experiencing it at the hands of another person. When we misalign with ourselves, when we cut parts of ourselves off to fit into a situation that's not in alignment with us or to stay in a situation that's not in alignment with us, you know, we we end up misaligning within ourselves in order to fit in with it, in order to align with it, right? And so this person is like, they almost, there's this feeling with this, this of I let myself down. I betrayed myself. And there's a feeling of needing to recover from that, of needing to just sort of clear the mind of this past situation, cleanse the palate, purge, release, let go of. Um, there's also a feeling here of this person having been very lonely in a past situation, basically having to sort of keep their thoughts to themselves or um, not really feeling like they could express themselves in a past situation or at least express themselves honestly. So there's some kind of regret about that. Uh, this person may have also tried to let someone down easily or let go of a situation without causing any any waves here which i feel like is not possible when you're dealing with a situation like this it just it feels like we're dealing with a situation that the more we try to pull back from it the more the volume gets turned up on what is wrong with it or what is painful with it or what is hard about it all right oath of the moon
See, this person really does want to make you an offer, okay? This person is putting in the work. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You guys have three aces. Yeah. This person knows and understands that this is a divine opportunity. This person knows. They want to speak the truth. They want to come forward. They want to be able to reciprocate fully or give to this situation more than they have in the past. Um, this person may have like had their resources spread among a lot of areas. It doesn't just have to be people. This can be, you know, situations, um, circumstances. It's like, um, it's like not having enough to give to give to one more thing. And, but this person sees what a tremendous opportunity this is. This is definitely like a divinely given opportunity. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, <clears throat> and it's like, this person may also be regretting not having cut off something in the past or not having left a situation in the past in order to come forward to really take advantage of this opportunity. Um, and it's like, it's almost as if, you know, denying it or not, or not kind of accepting it or not turning around and taking the opportunity of the connection. It, it's like it almost built in. <laughs> it's like, you know, when you want something, let's say um, you want a pair of shoes, okay? And you see them and you're just, you fall in shoe love. You're like, oh my gosh, I have no idea what I would wear these with, but oh my gosh, I love these shoes. I just want them. They may be totally impractical. They may be this, they may be that, but like, wow, I love these shoes. And then it's like a couple days later, you realize that you already own the perfect outfit or that those shoes would be perfect with like a whole part of your wardrobe. And you're like, wow, now those shoes are practical. Now those shoes, you know, make sense. Like I've already fallen in love with them, but now it's a logical thing. Like I need those shoes because I can wear them with like almost everything I own. And you know, that's then, I, I hate to compare things or I hate to like, but sometimes it's just easier because all of your situations and all of your circumstances are different, but it's like with each passing day, it's like whatever this person comes into contact with, it's like it comes, it, the, this opportunity in love with you Pisces, I feel like comes into greater alignment with this person's life. And I think this person has recently spent so much time misaligned or prioritizing other people or other things ahead of themselves that choosing this, it's not just choosing love, but it's also choosing their own truth. It's also choosing what is in alignment with them. It is also choosing what is in their highest and best. And I think that makes this person very eager to make an offer. It's something that's growing. It's something that's gaining momentum. It's something that makes more and more sense as the days go by. The, the Ace of Swords is something where it's like, you can see clearly how this works into your life. You can see clearly that this choice is in alignment with your truth. You can see clearly the opportunity for success and victory in this situation. So there's, it, it, it's not just a, man, I have these feelings or man, you know, I really like Pisces. It's like, wow, actually this situation with Pisces is in alignment with what is actually really, really, really super important to me here and now. All right, so let's look. I, I feel this person is coming forward to make an offer. We do have Romantic Night and Oath of the Moon. I do feel like, you know, they may at first just, um, you know, ask to have, you know, an evening. It's like, I can't really offer you more than that, um, but I would like to go out. I would like to talk about it. I don't know. There may be something physical that happens there. Maybe not, um, but it does feel like, somebody wants to explain something to you about their past or about the situation or about what happened there. And also I think they want to tell you that they're in a process of healing and that they, they don't with that four of swords have like a ton to offer you at this time, but it's coming. I feel that it's coming. Let's, um, 
Let's look at the, this person's thoughts, feelings, and potential actions here and what is standing in their way. What is the blockage for Pisces person? Okay, so the blockage for Pisces person is this Four of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. So this person is in a situation that is not making them happy. This person is, they're in some kind of collaboration or they've already begun to build something or they're part of some kind of family unit or this is work or it's something that is ha, is taking up such a place in their life or such a focus in their life that they're not able to maybe necessarily, there, there's even this feeling of like, I'm not necessarily in charge. I don't necessarily get to make my decisions. I don't necessarily get to act on my heart. I don't necessarily get to do what I want to do here um, because I'm over here doing this. And um, so this is the obstacle. What are Pisces person's thoughts? man four aces in this reading yeah this person really wants to do what they want to do and they want us they don't wow yeah this person They want to release this blockage and I feel like they are or they're going to with the seven of wands being in reverse. It's like this person is going to let go of whatever is standing in their way, whatever is blocking them. They're going to release it because you have this ace of wands here and they really want to take it with the queen of swords here. Pisces, for some of you, you may have given this person some kind of ultimatum or you may have had some type of strong conversation with this person where it's like you let your feelings be known that or they know that you're the type of person that's not going to accept less than you deserve. And if they come forward, you know, halfway or they come forward still sort of obligated to a situation that's really not making them happy, I think you're not going to accept it. You're not just going to accept them no matter what you know you're you're definitely with this queen of voices energy here it's like you you are definitely are um this is how they see you they see you as someone who's not going to accept less than they deserve and i think you know it, it's not a warm and fuzzy feeling but we see that queen of pentacles and you know, um, on the bottom of the deck many times. And so it's like, basically this person recognizes that you understand your worth and your value and that you're not really willing to compromise that. You're not, you're not just going to take something because they're offering it and you want them. You, you are only going to take the things that are truly in alignment with your discerning mind, you know, with the night of voices here, it's like this person wants to rush forward and sort of offer you that, offer you the truth, show you the truth. Um, kind of, I feel like almost before you turn your back on them completely and lose all feelings for them completely. You know, um, this person is trying to solidify their life. They're trying to get their life to a place where it's solid and stable so that when they offer you something, it's solid and stable with the king of pentacles on the bottom of the deck what is in your heart space for pisces all right pisces this person keeps going back and forth between love and fear in their heart space this person they do have deep feelings for you. I feel like that they haven't really revealed with the moon card here and with temperance, there is a strong desire to come together, but temperance came out sideways, which is a, it's an energy that is in the process of changing. It's an energy that is developing still at this time. And temperance is an energy that takes a while. 
this person, um, you see the sun in this particular version of temperance. They, they are healing. They are, you know, trying to get clarity of their heart space. They are, uh, trying to kind of like rebalance and heal their heart. Um, with the moon, it's like they have deep feelings in there for you. I feel like they haven't acted upon them with the eight of, of swords. And they haven't really expressed them. I feel like also there is this somewhat disconnect between their mind and their heart. I feel like they haven't been able to be true to what they really want or what their heart is really telling them for some time, which creates a little bit of a disconnect. I feel though with temperance here, it's like they're bringing it back together. They're bringing it back together. You have this three of cups and this three of materials in their heart. So they want they want someone who they can truly share a vision with someone who understands the language of their heart someone who they don't have to explain all the time what they're feeling what they're thinking they they want someone who who understands almost like intuitively with the moon and the three of cups which i feel like pisces is you i mean the moon is you flat out pisces um it's also divine feminine. It's almost like this person is really softening and coming into their truth in their heart space. And they want someone who is able to do the same. They want to come together with someone who is balanced, who is healed, who is, has done the work. They don't want a project. They want someone who is solid and stable and able to really share a vision with them and really work together to move something forward here, to build something meaningful that lasts. They also want someone that they can celebrate with and feel carefree with and enjoy life with, where their heart is at ease where their heart can trust that what we're building, we're building together and what we feel, we share our feelings. If you're sad, I'm sad. If I'm sad, you're sad. If you're happy, I'm happy. If I'm happy, you're happy. You know, it's, it's that sort of, um, it's almost a connection without words, you know, um, or that doesn't need words. But this person, they're, they're feeling imbalanced in their heart. And we saw that temperance turning. So it's like this person is working toward being able to be that type of partner. This person is working to free themselves in whatever way from whatever is holding them back in their heart space. Or not allowing them to move forward with this. Or not allowing them to fully commit to this. What is this person's intentions? What are their actions? This person is working right now to release the fear and the illusion and all the what ifs and all the could ofs and the should ofs and the well, what if this happens? What if that happens? Um, they're working to release that and to just answer the call of their heart with this judgment energy. You know, um, they they want to step into their authenticity. They want to have some kind of authentic heart-to-heart -heart conversation they may also need to offer you some type of apology for um abruptly not moving forward with this anymore or having taken steps solid and stable steps and then becoming unreliable not showing up for you in some way pisces with the two of voices in 
transition, it feels almost like this person really, their feelings started to develop and then it's like they stopped moving forward. They, they were opening up, things were coming together. I feel like they were starting to feel very happy in the connection and then, and then it's like they kind of stopped moving forward and I feel like it's because they weren't really free to have these emotions or they, they were closing out some other cycle and they weren't necessarily free to just follow this or to come forward. I feel like this person knows that they owe you some kind of an apology. With the Two of Swords um, in transition here, it's like they are going out of some stagnancy where they haven't really told you, where they haven't really let you in, where they haven't really let you see what they're thinking or what's really going on, or they haven't really even like told you or expressed to you why they couldn't move forward necessarily, or they have allowed things outside the connection to stop it and to own them and to control them and to prevent them from taking action. And I feel like whatever the case may be is, it's like I feel they want to come forward and bring clarity and bring healing to the situation. They want to be authentic. They want to tell you what they're really feeling. They want to answer the call of their heart. They want to let their heart be the loudest voice in the room, not that fear and illusion with the Seven of Cups. With the Ten of Wands, this person is definitely completing some type of burdensome cycle from their past here. There's just no doubt about it. Um, I feel like this person turned their back on this romance it's like they saw how there was such potential here or there was so much that was available to happen here but it's like they weren't ready for it yet they had some cycle they were closing out and that's why they stopped that's why they stopped coming forward it's like they were literally opening up to these feelings they were feeling them they knew that it was something I felt, I feel that could continue to grow. And so it's like, boom, they had to say, nope, I've got to close out this cycle before I can move on this. And I feel like they do feel they owe you some kind of apology or at the very least, some kind of very sincere ex explanation. Right, so let me get you some message cards. If you're dealing with a water sign, you're getting, please don't leave me. I hate being so far away. You make me feel alive inside. If you're dealing with a fire sign, you're getting, I need time. Have you truly forgiven me? And let's fulfill each other's fantasies. Yeah, they are daydreaming about this with the seven of cups as well. But it's like they need to step forward out of the fantasy and into reality, I feel like, and it's on their mind. If you're dealing with an earth sign, don't give up on me, please. I love your mind. And if you're dealing with an air sign, you're getting, why now? I can hear you. Come to me. And 1111 Union will come. All right, Pisces. Well, this is what I have for you right now. I hope it helps. I hope it brings you some peace and clarity. If it does, let me know. Like, share, subscribe. Um, I, I feel like this is a bit of a slow moving energy. If I'm being totally honest, I don't, I don't really see a ton of speed or a ton of like, wow, this is going to happen tomorrow kind of energy. Um, these cards do have timelines in them and we're not like within the next few weeks, we're not really getting that here. So, um, let me just see if spirit will give us a timeline. Let me just ask spirit. Can you give us a timeline on when this will come together for Pisces? Ask your angels. 
Meditation brings answers. Communicate clearly. Romance and unlikely. And ask for help from others. So I, Spirit's not going to give us a timeline. It's unlikely. And we, we are doing a general reading. So th there, it's very hard to do timelines with general readings because we're all on different timelines. Um, but it wouldn't, it would not likely be, be accurate for all of you anyway. So I feel like that's why we're not really getting it. Um, but I thought maybe a time frame, but we're not getting it. So, um, you know, you can ask for signs and synchronicities if that is really important to you. And, um, you just ask your angels, like, if this is going to happen before the end of the year, let me see angel signs. If this is going to happen in January, let me see angel signs today. Just, you know, only ask, be very specific, put boundaries and time frames on it yourself. Like if, if, if this is going to happen in January, let me see 11, 11 today randomly. You know what I mean? And then see what happens. All right. Pisces, that's my best advice for you today. I hope this helps. I hope this brought you some peace and clarity. If it does, let me know. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you all so much for your support on my channel. Until next time, I send you off with all my very best. Always, always, always. Bye-bye.